Okay, let's go over math, grade 4, module 3, lesson 24. Multi-digit multiplication and division, topic F, reasoning with divisibility. So for problem 1, we're going to determine the meaning of the word multiple. So we're going to begin by looking at counting by 4. We could have picked any number, but we're going to start with counting by 4. When I count by 4, I start with 0, and then I go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and so on. I can continue on. Each of these numbers is a multiple of 4, because I can multiply 4 times a number, like 4 times 1, and get 4. I can multiply 4 times 5 and get 20. I can multiply 4 times 7 and get 28. So these numbers are all multiples of 4. They are the result of multiplying 4 by a whole number. I can continue on. It doesn't have to stop at 32. I can go to 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56. As a matter of fact, this is infinite. I can keep on counting by 4 because it would never end. It would just keep going and going and going. So, why is 24 a multiple of 4? Well, when I think back to my number line and I see that 24 is on that number line, I know that 4 times 6 is 24. So therefore 24 is a multiple of 4. So, is 25 of multiple of 4? Well, if I'm counting by 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 25 would fall like about here on this number line. So, I'm kind of jumping over 25 when I count by 4. 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28. So 25 is not a multiple of 4. So is 28 a multiple of 4? 28 would be. 25 is not, and 28 is. Um, okay, so is 84 a multiple of 6? Now this one is, 84 is a larger number, you know, because like, 6 times 11 is 66, 6 times 12 is 72. So 84 passes that up. So how can I find out if 6, if 84 is a multiple of 6? Well, I can use division for that. So I'm going to divide 84 by 6. When I'm finished, if I have a remainder, then 84 is not a multiple of 6. If I have 0 as a remainder, then 84 is a multiple of 6. Okay, so I have 8 tens. I'm going to divide it into 6 groups. That means I'm going to put 1 in each group. 1 times 6 is 6. So 8 tens minus 6 tens is going to be 2 tens. I take those 2 tens and I put them with my 4 ones, divide it into 6 groups is 4. There will be 4 in each group. 4 times 6 is 24. And then when I subtract, I get 0 as a remainder. So 84 is a multiple of 6. So since 84 is a multiple of 6, let's find out if 84 is a multiple of 2 and 3. And we're going to use the associative property to do that. So what we're stating is that we know that 84 is equal to 6 times 14. And I know that because I divided 84 and I got 14 in each group. I divided 84 into 6 groups. So 6 times 14 gives me 84. But what I want to do is I want to think about renaming this 6 in multiplication. 
I can rename this 6 and say 2 times 3 is 6. So 2 times 3 times 14 would give me the same answer as this. What I can also do is I can also move the parentheses. 3 times 14 is going to give me 42. So 2 times 42 give me 84. So 84 is a multiple of 6 and it's also a multiple of 2 and 3. Okay, so some of the classwork you're going to do is um, you're going to have to you give yourself a minute and you're going to write as many multiples as you can of a number or in this case you're going to write the multiples of 6 starting from 36. Okay, so starting at 36, my next multiple is going to be 6 more. So 36 plus 6 more would be 42. Or I could think 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 9 is 54, 6 times 10 is 60. And I'm going to continue to list these in the one minute that I have to work. Alright, that's going to wrap things up for Lesson 24, where we've been working to determine whether a whole number is a multiple of another whole number. If you want to get a collection of all of the videos for fourth grade, you can go to tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4, the number 4. And if you do that, you'll get to my OnCourse website, and it has the modules, and you can click um, the topic that you're on and you'll get a little PDF of the lessons and then you can click the lesson and it'll take you to the YouTube video you can also download these PDFs and put them on your desktop or um, email them to parents that kind of thing okay so as always you can go to lpssonline.com hover over parent command center scroll down to math resources click on fourth grade you can go to module three because that's what we're working on and right now we're in topic F so you'd click here topic F and you can get our newsletter that will help define some of these terms for you